Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. I'm just going to show you a couple of different features here that we weren't able to cover in the first part of the multi-cut tool video. So this is just uh, something I'm going to show you. I won't demonstrate it. I'm just going to show you. If you look at the settings here, we got snap step. We know what that is. Snap step, just as a recap here. The multi-cut here, multi-cut, select. Snap step is essentially when you hit shift and you create a point and it's stepping between the percentages. You can adjust that there at the top, snap step percentage. Make that a little bit clearer. So zoom in here for you. So as you can see, in between each of these edges, you can you know, cycle through percentages. All right, the other thing that I wanted to show you is edge flow. When edge flow is on, you will expect to get something more like this, this guy right here, where you're gonna see a lot more edge flow. You see the curvature there, whereas the one on the left has, has it deselected. So it just follows along with the already uh, existing shape that you have there. So the right is using edge flow, selected, and the left is not, okay? All right. Let's take a look at our next example. All right, these are our two spheres. Now, when we're looking at the smoothing angle, what I did here, you might be asking yourself, how did he get those little um, dotted lines? Well, I went into display polygons and you go into soft, hard edges, okay? So that's what's gonna tell you what's, what edges are soft, which edges are hard. The soft edges are the ones that are dashed. The hard edges are the ones that are not dashed, essentially. So what I wanted to do is, because most videos don't <clears throat> actually show or explain what the difference is between 180 or zero. It goes from zero to 180. Zero is hard. Smooth, hard angle, hardest, 180 is the softest. So the left is going to be more smooth. And the one on the right, as you can see, is set at zero smoothing angle, which is more like a, a golf ball type texture on it. Okay, so there is a bit of a difference. Now I would say, you'd say, well, how does that apply to the multi-cut tool? Well, it's set at a 180 default, okay? And these, when you, when you set up a polygon, they are set at, if you go into mesh display, soften edges, they're generally set at 30 degrees as a default. So if I went into here and went reset settings, that's what you would see there, 30 degrees, which is also considered soft for, you know, even with this sphere, look, we can, we can select this and put it at 30 and apply. And you'll see that we still have, these are still considered soft. Um, this is considered soft edges, okay? All right, just something to know as you navigate here. I would just keep it on default. The only issue that you can run into with, well, one of the issues that you can run into when you start messing around with smoothing angles is some of this that you can start to see here, right around here. This has something to do, some a little to do with the lighting, but they're referred to as what the, the real ones are, but they look similar to this. These are black shading errors, and the ways to fix, ways to fix that are to, is to adjust smoothing angles. All right, okay, moving along, so we don't make this video too long, <laughs> is subdivisions. Let's get into subdivisions here. Let me just, I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize that. Let's get into these two guys here. Let's go ahead and hide them, and let's get into our third guy. All right, we've got our cylinder here. Oh, didn't wanna do that, okay. Now, getting into subdivisions, subdivisions essentially is, if we go into our, we got our multi-cut here. If we got, we're doing a uh, edge, edge loop, 
and you want to add subdivisions, it's going to add subdivisions in the middle, in the face. So if I add one, two, three, four, five, it's going to do that. So it's going to add more vertices in between the main vertices. I wouldn't recommend it. I would keep it on default. All right, moving along, slice tool. Ignore back faces. That just means if I slice through this, it will ignore, it won't go through the back. Okay. Delete faces. If you go from left to right here, it's going to take the top. If you go from right to left, it's going to take the bottom. So just a little something to keep in mind for slicing. Just like that. Okay. Extract faces, probably one of my favorite. Um, we set this. This is not the default, but I set it so you can really begin to see what's going on. Pretty cool, right? So it extracts the face and lifts it up based on these values here. You can also slice along the path as well depending on what axis you're wanting to deal with here. So if you do YZ, it's going to give you a plane. Probably can't see it, so I'm going to back it up. That plane is your slicing plane. As you can see, it's already done it. Okay? It's already done it. And you can adjust it however you want using that these mod this modifier or this controller, rather. Okay? So that's pretty cool. Let's get back into what happened. I lost my multi cut. Uh, really cool. But as you can see here, when you're extracting, you don't have to select extract faces either. So you can not extract a face and just slice along that plane and create, you know, whatever loops you want. And again, keep in mind, you can rotate, you can scale, you can all, whatever that plane can do is wherever it will lay down that, that loop or a slice. Okay. But, but this is really cool. I just, I just think this is the neatest thing. Looks really cool. So, I mean, you can really deconstruct this thing pretty heavily. Okay. All right, looks like a logo for something. <laughs> All right, so that's about it. We have color settings. That just uh, relates to the line, edge points, vertex, face points. When you start getting in here and doing this kind of stuff, you can see we've got vertex, right? vertex point. You got a face point, it's on a face. The blue, it's on an edge and uh, and you can adjust these colors too, not by much. Uh, what do I do here? It's just, when all else fails, just reset the tool. Live constraint options deal with, when we were talking about quad draw, just allows you to adjust some options there if you are in live mode. And of course, if you have any other further concerns while you're learning this, Check out the keyboard mouse shortcuts. That'll do it, folks, for multi-cut part two. Just wanted to go through the settings and show you some of the additional features. Have a beautiful day, and we'll talk to you soon.